today we're going to talk about how to make and use batches in Schoology. So in Schoology there's a couple places where you can make batches. You can make them in an individual course or you can make them in resources. Let's start with resources so that, that way you can share it with other folks. Um, so personal we're going to go to add resources and then let's go to add batch. You may also want to add this to a group so you can create this in a group as well in the resources. We're just going to call this batch. This is a batch. You'll want to be more specific with your badge. So let's say that you have a self-paced assignment where a cert student met a certain milestone. You could put this badge there. Let's say that a student did really well in a model UN competition or in a drama competition or some, in some other extracurricular activity. You could use that in your club. Uh, I might use it if I were still teaching AP World History. There's a certain point on a rubric called the unicorn point. And so I might give a student a unicorn badge if they got that really hard to get unicorn point. So what you'll do with your badge is you want to say what, what the badge is and give it a specific title. You want to say what this badge is for. And then you're going to attach a file so that that way it comes with a cute little picture. So let's just go to pictures and I'll find one. So let's say that I was trying to make a picture about back to school. Boom. You can also change and uh, edit this so you've got the back to school badge. You can also change the shape of it. So if you want it to be a little spiky guy or if you want it to be a star, uh, you may want to look at the image and resize it before you upload it either way. You can also change the color around the edge so that it really pops. All right, so now you've made your badge and your badge is gonna live in here in resources, badge right there. So now you're gonna go into your courses or into your groups. You can give people badges in groups as well. So I'm gonna to go to this course and in your courses, you'll notice that you have badges here on the side. So now I can add a badge you can create a new badge directly in your course. The reason I might advocate for doing it in resources is that it makes it easier to share with groups and with other courses. So uh, what we're gonna do is go to import from resources. And now you can see that I have my badge right here. So I'm gonna add this guy, import, import, and boom, that's right here. So now I can award it to anybody I want simply by clicking the little checkbox. So now this person has this badge and when you go to her user profile, you'll see this badge right here. A couple things that you'll want to note is that the, when you have this badge here, that means that anybody can see it. So you'll wanna make sure that your badges are specific, that they're school appropriate, and that they have some sort of relevance to something that they're explained so that people can see what the badge is for. Otherwise, it's gonna look a little bit silly. I uh, hope this helps you to use badge, badges and that you have fun and are able to help motivate students by doing using them.